Hello everyone and welcome back to the game Panda. Today we are playing some more Pokemon TCG online. So if you guys did miss out on the last episode, make sure you guys go check it out as there was a little poll kind of thing at the very end to see which Pokemon pack I should buy. So I didn't really get a clear response through the video. So we're going to do that once again at the end of the video. I'll show you guys all the packs and whatnot in order for me to buy it. But last episode, we also did our first tournament, which was actually pretty nice. We did end up losing in the first round to a very skilled player, I must say. So I'm going to I'm thinking that we're going to skip the tournament this time around. And we're just going to go ahead and do two versus battle and call it there. Oh, that's a very nice car on Sonora GX. Very nice card right there. So we are going to go ahead and play two versus battle. See if we can at least get to this 20. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the 25 Poke Coins. I want to see if we can get the 50, maybe even the chest, which I doubt because that's, that's going to be like five wins in a row. I don't think we have that kind of time unless you guys want to see like an hour long video. But, um, okay, so this tier ends in a day. Um... What I could do is I can play a little bit off screen and then for the last one I could potentially, I'm not saying I'm, I'll get there, potentially I could play for the pack on camera. But anyways, that's in the future. Let's go ahead and play what we are in right now. Going for this 25 Poke Coins. So let's see, what deck do we want to use? Okay, so... Um, did we play Iron Tide before? I'm pretty sure we have in my biggest big brain move. Have you played Basic Blue? Bufalant, Panpour, Simapore. Okay, we got an Articuno in there. We have a Gyarados. Very nice. A Walrein. Greninja. Actually, let's go ahead and play this deck. I, I don't think we've played this deck yet. We're going to go ahead and play a basic blue X and Y. Okay, so after a while, we found an opponent, Terra VH7 or 578. Very nice. All right, so she's playing with the Mental Might. Mental Might? Yeah, Mental Might, which is a psychic type deck with Glade and the Mill Tank, which we barely lost to in the last episode, I think. Or that might have been off camera. I don't know, but I remember I lost to one barely. Okay, so she decided to take the coin flip. Very interesting. Okay, so we got a Swablu and a Talo. What does this do? Same number of cards as my opponent. 20 more damage. Two basic Pokemon. Has no weakness. Very nice. So let's go ahead and put that Swablu because I didn't see an Altaria in there at all. So let's go ahead and put the Swablu out there and see what happens from there. Uh, she's taking a long time to choose her Pokemon. She does realize that it's taking time off of her clock. Alright, let's see. So she's got a Skinny and a Furfur out there. Is Delcaddy in this deck? I didn't know. I didn't know if Delcaddy was in the deck. Heal Bell, what does that do? Heals 10 damage. Oh, and she's also got Tail Whap. Literally never heard of that move before in the anime on... The main series game, no nothing. I've heard Tail Whip, not Tail Whap. What the heck is Tail Whap? Okay, let's go ahead and play Pokemon Fan Club. Because we do need more Pokemon. Um, That's actually not bad. We could go for an Articuno. Could go for Seal. Or Froakie. Let's actually go for Froakie. And the Articuno, why not? Those two seem like a good choice. And then we can go ahead and place that one, and that one, and that one. And we still can't play that one? Great. Um, and then we can put this on Articuno. Okay, do we, can we not play this? Oh, it's our first turn still. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Probably should have placed the energy card on, whatchamacallit, uh, Articuno. But that is okay. She goes for roller skates. She doesn't get it, which is very good for us. And let's see what continues to happen. She's 
she's taking quite a long time, I must say. I know I took a while, but still. Okay, she's going for that tail whap. Okay. Um, let's go for a roller skates of our own. We don't get it either. Let's add this energy card. Go for this card. We did get the seal. Go for acrobike. Let's see. Frogadier versus acrobike. We're going to take the frogadier, obviously. Um, we're going to replace down the seal and the pan pour. And we're going to evolve. And then I think we're going to end it. Seems like a pretty good d dealio right there. Alright, let's see. What else is she going to do? She's probably going to tail whap one more time. Unless she has a Delcaddy in which she's probably going to evolve and add an energy card. Okay, so she's looking for two more energy cards. She's probably going to get Furfru going with Sharp Fang. Which, if Furfru comes out before I get my Articuno ready or my Frogadier ready, that's going to be a problem. We really only need one energy card for Greninja, but it might take a while to get that Greninja, so you might have to add two energies there. Okay, so I feel like this person is on their phone and playing the game at the exact same time, because this is taking a long time to find two energy cards. And that was a long time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Worst case, we're going to win by v timeout victory, which I've literally never had before. So that would be cool to see that animation, I guess. But I really don't want this video being one battle for 22 minutes of them doing nothing. Okay. So at this point, I think I'm just going to end my turn. That was literally a useless draw for me. That is okay. She added the second energy to Skitty, which is quite weird. Unless she has a Delcaddy. So she doesn't have the Delcaddy in her hand. But yet, she's still going for it. I'm just going to go ahead and end turn again. We really need energy cards right now instead of Pokemon or trainer cards. Unless the trainer card allows you to search for two energies at once. So you, okay. What the heck are you doing? Why are you adding energy cards to Skitty? I mean, worst case, we can add the thing. Um... Okay, I'm gonna put out Taylo. See what happens, and then I'll put out Articuno. Or I can put out Articuno now. Hmm. We're gonna put Articuno out. And we can go for Find Ice. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a good idea. I'm gonna take those three. Boom. Okay. And now we're set for the next few turns. I'm surprised she hasn't put anything on her on her bench. I feel like she might be trying to lose this on purpose. This is getting real sketchy. She's still just going for tail whap. Why hasn't she evolved it yet? Or can she even evolve it is the question. Like, does she have the capability to actually evolve it? Or is she just... Uh, I have no idea what's going on. Because she has so many, so many cards. She must have something to put on her bench. Like you saw in my third turn, I had my whole bench filled up. How has she not done anything yet? And still going for tail whap, of all things. Like, that's just kind of crazy to me, you know? Okay, I guess we're going to knock out the skitty. Okay. Let's see what we get. We get a water energy. Okay, if she doesn't play anything on her bench this turn, that obviously means she's giving up. Okay, what the heck is happening? This game has been so confusing. See, she's just grabbing more cards. Like... I, unless she has, like, all trainer cards here, I literally see no point in her not putting Pokemon on the bench or adding energy cards to her Furfru instead of her Skitty. Like, I think she might be trying to throw the game. Well, even if she is, it's fine. Because it still helps us. But that wasn't too entertaining, obviously. As I just had to put out one Pokemon. And I literally destroyed her. So unless she puts something on the bench, she's she's she lost. Like, it's, it's over. Just right there. 
Let's just end the turn. Okay. Wow, that was very anticlimactic. Wow. Okay. Um, so you guys didn't really actually get to see how this deck really plays out. But, um, that's okay, I guess. Wasn't too bad. We did get the 25 Poke Coins because of that win. Now we're up to 900 as our total right there. Very nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and play that one more game. Like I said, I did take a long time though because she would take forever to take her turn. So I don't think we're going to get that third in. Then a B. Or the no B. Okay, so he's calling the coin flip. This is a Incineroar deck, so this could get a little... Actually, this would be really good for us. Yeah, that would be really good for us because we got a water type deck. He's got a fire type deck. Oh no. Oh, he got a mulligan. <laughs> He's got to take a mulligan. Imagine that. Okay, we are actually going to draw because I don't want to... Let's see. So, okay. So he's got fighting. He's got beware. He's got gigolith in here for grass types. Oh. This might not be as easy as I thought it was going to be. Because he's also got rock types, which are weak to grass. Um, yeah, we're going to we're going to draw. That's fine. Okay. Uh-oh. We've we've got a problem here. Um I, th I think we have to add an energy card and start going for wave splash. Why can't we get- why, why were we not allowed to attack? Oh, that was the first turn. I'm so stupid. Okay. So our starting hand, absolute garbage there. Grass. Water. Grass. Psychic. Discard an energy attached to, active poke to the opponent's active Pokemon. Um, let's add an energy card there. Sure, why not? Let's activate that, because, you know, it's slurry. Oh, look at that. We got the heads. Look at us go. Doing 30 damage. Boom. Okay, we gotta get another Pokemon. We gotta get, like, a Froakie or something. I'm gonna get real annoying real quick. Oh, there's a Sandy Gas. What's its ability? This Pokemon takes less, 20 less damage. Well, that really sucks now, doesn't it? Okay, what, what's Wufalon's ability? I'm seeing he's got ability. Um, this attack does 40 more damage to your opponent's grass-type Pokemon. Um, discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Derail. That's 80 damage. That's actually quite a bit. Especially for a non-evolving Pokemon. It's quite a bit. Alright, so we gotta get a heads one more time. And we should win this battle no no please don't okay good okay so oh no that's not good he got a he got his incineroar out there real quick what can it do darkest lariat a hundred per tails or per heads what the heck that is crazy okay let's go ahead and shuffle i know we had that frog deer but it's really not worth it okay okay i see you we got a semi pour. Look at us go. Look at us go. Put a card from your discard pile to the top. Um, yeah, sure. Now I kind of regret adding that energy card to Buffalon. But that's okay. That's okay. I mean, he probably has an energy card, so he's going to attach it. He does 30 damage. It's not too bad. So it's not, it's not going to be that bad, I don't think. He doesn't add an energy card. Very nice for us. I'm going to add an energy card there. Do I want to shuffle? Not really. We're going to go ahead and surf. Why not? So now he's going to have to sack something else off. Hopefully it's his Incineroar. That way we just do 140, knock it out in two turns. Alright. Darkest Laird is actually kind of scary because that can do 200 damage. That's a lot. Alright, so he's got one more turn to stall, I guess. Why did he add the energy card to that? That's kind of dumb. Because he's going to die next turn. Hope you know that. Alright, so let's add the last energy card to Buffalon. Let's go ahead and activate Shauna again. There's a Gyarados. Okay, Gyarados could be pretty cool if you get a magic card. 
What does it got? Aqua Tail? Plus 30 for each aqua energy? Or water energy? That's insane. That's a good card. Alright, I like that. Oh. I don't like the first move, though. Does 10 to R stuff, too. He's pull out the pile of sand. Yes, I said pile of sand, not pile of sand. Aw, oh, though, dang it. Got the tails there. Um, yeah, we're gonna go surf. That's fine. Damage decreased. Oh, forgot about that. It's gonna take three turns. No, that means he's got a chance for Darkest Lariat. Oh, no. Don't you dare get a fighting type Pokemon. Don't you dare. Alright, I'm gonna actually go for the Magikarp. So that way we can get Gyarados going. I know that was a weird pick for the Dive Ball. But I had extra energy. I wanted to get Gyarados going. Alright, so that's gonna go for half, right? No. Why does it half? It's 20% off. 20%. 20 damage off. Okay. Don't give him a fire energy. Don't have a fire energy. Don't have a fire energy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Oh no, I don't want that one. I want Articuno. And I want Froakie. Boom. Alright. We're gonna go ahead go like that. We're gonna go ahead go like that. We're gonna go ahead go like that. We're gonna go like that. And then the go pile of sand go away. Alright. This is actually turning out way better than I thought. Alright, come on. Wow, he's saving that Incineroar. Oh no, he got the fire energy, guys. He got the fire energy. Oh no, oh no. Oh, we're taking the wall rain, 100%. I don't care about a Corsola. Let's try this again. We're taking the seal. Alright, we're gonna place down seal. We're gonna go ahead and evolve Frogadier. And we're gonna go ahead surf. Come on. It's a one hit KO. Goodbye. Oh boy, I re oh, there's the Greninja. Very nice. Uh, it does mist. Water shuriken, you may discard energy from your hand. If you do put three damage counters. That could be very nice. That does 80 damage then. He put out the Makuhita for some reason. I think he's really waiting for that darkest lariat. And even then he still doesn't have a hundred percent chance of hitting that hundred. 100 damage to 200 damage so we gotta hope for two tails on all of our pokemon basically unless i get uh gyarados or greninja out there real quick so like he knocks out simapore i come in with gyarados or greninja we're gonna lose to this instant roar actually if, yeah i would have to do oh no wait 30 100 no i gotta get gyarados out there i can't get greninja out there gotta get gyarados out there oh no this could go very good or very bad real quick okay so he didn't get the fire fire type energy we take out the makuhita he has to bring out that incineroar otherwise he's dead like he loses instantly if he doesn't bring out that incineroar if he brings out the Incineroar, he still has a chance. He he gave up. He straight up gave up. Let's go, guys. Let's let's go. We got two guy, two people who gave up. Yeah, he's he's done. He gave up. Nice game. That's actually very surprising. That Simapore carried. Like that that's huge. I've never had a Simapore carry before. I've had him do like basic damage. I've actually never added energy cards to my starter, starting my first active Pokemon. I always have them faint and then pull out some big boys. That was actually very surprising that he didn't put up the Incineroar. Because he still had a chance, because I was only going to do 140, and if he got a Fire-type energy like he did, he would have been able to go for Darkest Lariat and knock us out, potentially. So like he, he actually had a chance to win if he played it all the way out. But that's fine. I am A-OK -okay with two victories back to back. Both people giving up. That's actually very surprising. Mission reward 25 Pokecoins. Very nice. So do we get the 50 because of that? Oh no, we're so close. We're so close. 
Oh. Oh, we're very close. Um, okay. So I'm gonna play a little bit off screen and grab that 50 real quick, because that we're so close to that. So most likely we're gonna get that. And, oh no, not trainer battle, not trainer challenge. We're trying to go to the shop. Alright, so as I did last time, I am going to ask you guys to choose a pack to, to you know, for me to buy. We could get one of these, you know, decks if you wanted to. You guys can check through the decks real quick. Slowly go through them. If you guys see a deck that you would like me to play with, we can go ahead and choose a deck instead of a pack. But if you guys want to see a pack, we can also do a pack. It's up to you guys. Leave a comment down below. You guys rather see a deck or a pack? And if so, either one. Tell me which one. We got some cool ones in here. We got Evolutions. We got Fates Collide. Breakpoint. Ancient Origins. What else? We got some other cool X and Y. We got X and Y base set going on up here. Um, What else? What else? I have this deck in real life. Along with this deck in real life. I also have this deck in real life. Like, I've got quite a few. We also we can also go back to base set heart gold soul silver if you want booster pack same sets you know we got some team up we've got some guardians rising burning shadow with that Charizard in there evolutions again uh, ancient origins phantom forces legendary treasures that was a nice set um, black and white heart gold soul silver base set booster pack right here. You know, whatever you guys feel like getting or watching me open on the next episode, you know? So, here we are. Oh, I didn't know what this... I didn't know we got this. Let's go ahead and open this up. Why not? Instead of a pack, we can open this. We got a Pokemon card. Ten coins. What's our Pokemon card? Tapu Koko. Huh. Hollow Tapu Koko. Very nice. But I still think we're going to open a booster pack. I don't feel right doing you guys like that with just a chest. We're going to go ahead and open up a booster pack. What do we got? We got an energy. We got Shroomish, Drudigon, Cubone, Tynamo, Scraggy, Tortuga. What is this? Giant Hearth, Vigoroth, Reverse, Parloin. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Regular Rare, Scrafty. Very unexciting. But those were the, that was the episode, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.